Well, hello there, it's green time. Welcome to another speed build. Uh, well, actually, a round build. <laughs> Whatever. So, today we're building a little bedroom for a medium, a wizard, the weeds, a spiritual person, a person who believes in zodiac signs, who likes crystals. I don't know, just, you know, in this category, <laughs> I wasn't sure how to call it. Uh, I had multiple ideas. I went with the moon child. I don't know if this is this is going to be the final title of the video, but yeah, I think this essentially <laughs> I don't know explains everything. So originally, um, quite a while ago, I had an idea to create a series of bedrooms or apartments or just you know little rooms for each zodiac sign. You know, kind of like a Capricorn apartment. I thought that would be very successful and very fun to do. However, truth be told, and this is not to offend anyone, I'm not into zodiac signs. Those who are good for them, you look happy and healthy. Uh, but I just, I really couldn't care. I mean, do I watch or read an article that says, um, uh, I don't know, the thing that I want to say is not appropriate, so I'm not going to say it. Like, five outfits for its zodiac sign or whatnot. Or, like, the wedding dress <laughs> for its zodiac sign or something like that. Yes, I do, because I'm a sucker and I want to waste time and not do the things that I have to do. Just, you know, that's the only fun part <laughs> in the entire process. But, yeah, I don't care about zodiac signs. I don't believe they justify like your entire life and whatnot so i decided maybe that's not something that i should do still debating that however i saw this illustration and i will link it down below if i did save it because i don't really recall if i saved it to be completely honest um which was like a cool bedroom of a girl who was performing like a spiritual ritual uh and i was just it was so pretty. I'm like, I want to build that so bad. It's so pretty. And I wanted it like the original illustration had the nice sky in the back. And I'm like, this would be perfect. Absolutely perfect in the city. Because it would have this amazing view. And as you can see, I used the island living, island living panels. The glass panels, like you can see, I use them as a window. Obviously, the ideal thing was to use a roof. However, these aren't, roofs aren't really usable in apartments. You can't actually place a roof. So this was the second best solution. And I think it looks amazing. However, I did run into a couple of trouble and I will talk about it in a bit. Um, I absolutely love the panels because they give you this panoramic view of the city. And it's just like, mwah, Seth's kiss. I love it. Like, come on, look at that view. I would kill to have an, like a bedroom or like a living room with this view. Oh my God, yes. Uh, so I decided to make it into an apartment because I would absolutely love to see how this apartment would look like. And I really enjoy, you know, an entire apartment, the kitchen, the living room, like a little book area and whatnot. And I absolutely love building apartments. Uh, I love playing in the city. I love playing city living. It's such a fun thing and it's like always so colorful and just everything, all the time something happens and I just love it. I know not many people are into city living and not many people probably download apartments. They don't like playing into apartments. So I thought, you know what? I don't really care. Let's do it. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, however, the entire apartment will be in separate parts. So yeah, we shall see because I don't really have time to work in an entire apartment the way that I would like to. Because when I work on the outside of a thing, like in a building, I'll spend the entire time on the outside and the inside I'm like, okay, that's good enough. However, this single bedroom took me one hour and 40 something minutes. So you know that I went ham with the decor. Also, can we talk about the Blooming Kids pack? Because holy crap, I love it. This is the only kit that I can get behind and support and be like, you need to get that because all the plants are so pretty. Now, is it worth the five? Is it five bucks or is it four, three? I think it's four, five. Like if it was three, I would be like, yeah, sure. Okay, get it. It's three bucks, whatever. I think it's five, but still, I think it's worth the money because it comes with so many plants 
and you know your girl will be using them everywhere. I just I love all the plants, they're so pretty. So let's talk a bit about the <laughs> actual room. As you can see, and as I mentioned, I use the panels from Island Living. However, those panels obviously create a gap in the floor because the point is to be able to see the sea. And that gap is also created anywhere you use them. That means if you use them in the ground, you can see the ground. Here you could see, well, the street below, which makes absolutely zero sense. And I had a really troubling time deciding how I want to cover that. Because I was said that I wanted to use those panels, but I didn't know with what I should cover them with. Um, with Eco Lifestyle came like a wooden panel board thing. You will see that I used it earlier, but it doesn't work because the Sims can't walk on top of it. And then we had the option of using a rag, but the rag clips through the axle like gaps. So that doesn't work either. Um, I thought about maybe trying to find some paintings in the gallery of people, you know, creating, I don't know, maybe wood. I couldn't really find any, so I decided, plus I'm not sure if this will work. Uh, so I decided to use a graffiti. Now, we have a lot of graffiti that came with City Living that are either wall graffiti or floor graffiti. I've never used this elsewhere, but I think in this particular room it works really well because you have the space, you have like the earth, and I went with, you know, again, the moon child vibe with the stars and all the starry lights, and I just absolutely loved it. I think it works okay. I again I don't love it and I think at this point I could possibly get away with removing it because a lot of um, how are they called a lot of the gaps are hidden between beneath the furniture but again I think it adds something you know pretty and nice. I use those wooden um, uh, how are they called boards on top of the roof however these don't really allow your sims to walk so you need to remove them. I added them for the gallery because I think first they look amazing and the screenshots. But yeah, you do need to remove them. Otherwise, your sim can't read stuff. And just, you know, replace them with actual wooden boards or however they're called in the game. I can't recall. Spandrels? I think it's called spandrels. So yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you have an amazing day. And take care. Bye. <laughs>